Romanian deadlift, which are named after a fucking legendary weightlifter from the 80s, gold medalist on the 84 Olympics, Nico Vlad, and he was from Romania. And when he was training in the in the Olympic training center, the guys from the American uh, weightlifting team they saw him doing Romanian deadlifts. They didn't call it Romanian deadlifts back then. They call. Uh, they just saw this crazy dude doing deadlift with his legs slightly more straightened than usual than people usually deadlift, and they wonder, yo, this guy is a fucking gold medalist. Let's copy what he does. What the name we are going to do to this exercise? Oh, the Romanian guy did it. Let's call it Romanian deadlift. So that's why the RDLs have the name that they have. So okay, RDLs. If you never did RDLs, it's time to start doing RDLs because they put your hamstring in a stretch position and are gnarly to develop in your glutes and your, your hamstrings. For strength, it isn't that great. It's more of a hypertrophy move. So, but I'll, but when a deadlift variation is not as great for strength, it's not as great for strength compared to regular deadlifts. Uh, it is still insane for fucking strength. So it's not as good as the fucking regular deadlift that score a fucking full score of five on strength. But it's still a fucking deadlift. It's still going to impose a fuck ton of fucking pressure on your spinal cord, on your spinal erectors, on everything else, will force your fucking upper body to be as tight as shit, to maintain a stable position, maintain everything into place and protect your spinal cord and protect your fucking, uh, fucking upper body. So for strength, I'm going to give it a four or a four or a and a half. I think a four is more sensible because I gave a four and a half to low bar squats before and low bar squats are more conducive to strength than to strength than RDLs, but RDLs are awesome, bro. It's a fucking incredible exercise to have on the toolkit to both develop the uh, gnar gnarly hamstrings and glutes, but and developing strength, strength and myofibular hypertrophy in the ent entire body. And for my myofibular hypertrophy, it's insane. It's in, insane, especially for to targeting the fucking the posterior the posterior chain and the <clears throat> the posterior chain, which which is your hamstrings, your spinal erectors, and your glutes, and bring that quality. If you wanna have thickness on your back, if if when you stop with your fucking on on your sides, you don't you don't want to be just like a stick man, you know, like have no fucking thickness to your fucking back uh you need to be introducing romanian deadlifts i fucking lost the point that i was going to make fuck but it's fucking incredible for my fibular hypertrophy there's another category of fucking hypertrophy that i didn't introduce here because i'm a fucking moron but it's the stretch mediated hypertrophy and rdls really emphasize stretch mediated hypertrophy so uh, studies, the current studies show that we need to be introducing a big range of motion and if you have the opportunity to put the muscle into a stretch position, go there because for hypertrophy the stretch position is going to give gnarly results. So for myofibular hypertrophy we are going to score the RDL with a fucking full score of 4. Rao. For sarcoplasmic hypertrophy, which is doing RDLs with high reps and lower fucking weights, then it's still fucking pretty good. All the fucking girls that I know that does this shit for high reps with fucking with fucking low weights are bootylicious, bro. They are fucking bootylicious. And yo, we can't we can't argue with fucking butts, bro. When the butt is big. You need to trust it. You need to trust the methods that this chick developed. I don't want to see you doing RDLs for high reps with a tiny weight if you are a man. But if you are a girl, I, I'm not mad at that at all. <laughs> fuck. Oh, damn. Why? So I'm going to give it a fucking tree for sarcoplasmic hypertrophy. 
only because I think the stiff leg, stiff legged deadlifts are a deadlift variation that is a little bit better for that specific goal. Uh, as for time efficiency, hmm, it's not really that time efficient because you are not going to be using as much weight in a, than in a regular deadlift. And if you like decide that your entire fucking workout is just Romanian deadlifts, uh, I don't really know what the fuck you are doing, you know. So for time efficiency, let's give it a score of three. I think if you are going to be introducing Romanian deadlifts, it's interesting that let's say it's you are using a ppl uh push pull deck push pull legs uh training plan training split uh i think in the days that you are going doing rdls if it is your main overloading exercise you need at least two other exercises to go alongside it to really bring a, a gnarly stimulus to whatever the fuck is your goal so it's not as as dominant as the basics as the fucking uh squat bench deadlift you know uh as for the learning curve it's a bit harder to master than the fucking deadlift because in the deadlift you sit back a little bit more and you sit and you let your 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 hips hinge and that that provides you with the opportunity of taking a little bit of the load uh out of your fucking of your fucking lower back, you know, while on RDLs you kind of pull with your posterior chain only and all that force travels through the fucking spinal column pretty fast. So you need to be a, a little bit more cautious if you're going heavy on this shit. So I would put a two, two points for learning curve. Yeah, boy, two points. And here we have a fucking score. Let's see. It's 4, 8, 11, 14, 16. It's fair. It's a fair score. I, ah, fuck, I didn't change the fucking basic score from the other video. Woo! So, there you go, Bubba. There you go. RDL's a fucking score of 16. And now, let's fucking shoot the shit, bros. I, I will... We can do two things. We can fucking... Go explore another question on Quora, see if anybody else uh, posted another question on Quora. Or if you guys prefer, we can, you can call which exercise we are going to do this fucking shit. And then we review any exercise that you guys are interested in. We can review any exercise that you guys are interested in me reviewing right now. So let me know what, what we are supposed to be doing. I'll be waiting. <laughs> Oh, fuck.